Hello everybody, Orphe here. Welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, last time we beat our first Alpha Pokemon. Yeah, that's what happened. Sorry if I'm a little scatterbrained. I actually um, started to record this earlier, like yesterday, I think. And uh, ended up having a blackout, so I lost that recording. Thankfully, that was only like 15 minutes long. <laughs> Uh, before, you know, I was only 15 minutes in when the blackout happened, so, you know, I didn't lose too much, uh, and we could continue on here. But I did notice a fun little thing is that here, we have no shoes on, but then we put shoes on as we go out, which is like a fun little detail. That's a nice detail, uh, to notice there. <laughs> so that's something I noticed. There you are, let's hurry to headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally we have to wait till my Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My kill all the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. You could have all space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you suggesting that you make better use of time than we make a vast Tsui space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, almighty oh leader of the pro clan. I worried you'd get lost in the perfectly vast space just a fond of and never show up. Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the pro clan, our world's very basis? You wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged and argued with you. Almighty oh Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. By the way, I like Dialga better, design-wise. <laughs> you can feel tension when those two show up. You haven't met them yet. The woman with the reference her space is here to lead her the Pearl Clan. Man who is going on and on about time, Ataman, leads the Diamond Clan. Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist among them. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after your report done. So, one thing I did while during that field recording is talk to you. You get some special parcels. I think some of these might have to do with having Brilliant Diamond Dining Pearl save data along with Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee save data on this uh, switch, I think. Would be my guess. Um, so here we got the Festival Mask. So here, um, we also have Modern Jacket. The modern stuff is, uh, <laughs> Team Galactic stuff, so that's fun. Uh, there's also the Shaman. Stuff that we have, which I might wear later. Um, I don't really know, but I, for the most part, kind of just like, um, I like my Survey Core stuff. Uh, and, uh, I do want a different hat. There is a hat that I did buy previously. Uh, where is it? Is that the flat cap? I think it was a flat cap. Yeah. Uh, I liked the uh, crimson flat cap. That was what I did uh, during that failed recording. Anyways, um, there's someone here I never noticed before. Hello? Alright, if the Pokemon starts telling me, I'll fling it over and the wrong object distract me. If I just stick to a plan, I'll be fine. Sorry, core boy. This had out field lands go over our tunnel from I haven't got as many warm bears as I like. Now your third man there's still some meat to be Pokemon that eat them, so you might imagine Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see I'm going there's starting warm bears very distracting for our Pokemon, they're indispensable. Mike, can I tell you you got five warm berries for me? I have nineteen, jeez, here you go. I gratefully accept gosh can't believe going to the trouble finding you just for me. Uh sure. Thank gosh. Thank you, gosh, you're nice for someone to follow this way. I just tucked these away in my satchel. 
I'll let you guys go to waste. Wish me luck with these tumble things. Revive. Got some revives. Nice. Alright, well, let's go. Uh, it's also a request on the blackboard. Arts and beaters. Watch us a movie from the security guard and see if you need something in the Also, someone here with a request. It's funny, it came along at a good time. Looking for a pickling gun. You see, mine lending me a hand. Seems to be right size fit atop one of my pickle pots, heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles when they're fermenting. It's also really hard for me to lift up to everything from the pot. Best thing for me is to use stone to lift myself up, actually. Okay, there's a Pokemon called Judo who lives in Dutra Heights for a perfect one. Could you catch one and bring it back for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. Got it. What do you intend to do about that Cleavor Commander, Kamado? He may have sent it from Warrior of All Might. He's sent it, but look at the mess he's causing. Can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, how to run. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver has a presence toward the Pro Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where Lord the Pro Clan is concerned. My people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. But even though the folk of the galaxy seem to have been wounded, haven't they? Seem someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would Diamond Clan have the program bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into this fire and frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. They're the first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. This is Orfe, the newest member of our survey corps. I hear from my you earned word in his favor. Good to finally meet you, strange to the rift. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. Well, that's a mouthful, just call me Adaman. If you came from beyond the space time rift, would, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinuous had to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pro Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble in believing such a tale. Could you really pass through that for the rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver for her side what must be done? You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver. This newcomer with no experience, says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing his duties vastness without fear. Then there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, let's give the kid his chance. I'm still a commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folks really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon to strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. All my decent makers do be gas to Pokemon put it freely to grab. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. It allows us to show you what we can do. It's your mission now, Orphan. Where do you study Cleaver and help us find the truth in this situation? Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bell. Well, that's all, then there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that is blessed with almighty Eastern of own power. Nor Pokemon you've yet encountered your greater strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Academy has come to the history region as a group of outsiders. Some might call, even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything for our living to Diamond Pearl Clan, understand? Join me downstairs, Orphan. I'll cover details of this new mission. Or to the cabinet or office to learn more about your next mission. <laughs> Evie! So fair lot didn't kiss anyone else falls out of the sky. Why do you look familiar to another character in another Pokemon game? Okay, 
Wait, we are already here. That's a lavender in the briefing, if you please. Let's get right to it. So, we're afraid of Again, you've been quest to find out the call to Cleaver's current mistake. As you're aware by now, Cleaver is an almighty thing. I am going to believe it. I heard something weird, but I think it's just the music. Sandy Cars tried to throw balls at Cleaver when they were attacked, but Freddy didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's far too good that even those good species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once in a while. I have to be perfectly clear on this point. If this will put you in an extreme danger, you believe you can handle it. And let's go over the particulars. Diana Pearl claims to revere their nobles because they believe their Pokemon serve their almighty Senate. They leave all to express their gratitude for Pokemon fame they call noble seats. Perhaps a good starting point of our research is to find out what sorts of offerings they will leave for this week. Poor Fate, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to the whole other world. That world where be, be where might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. God, I cannot read. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you might have just been twinning into divine might. I got a favor to ask you, amazing time traveler. Don't just study Creve or quell its frenzy. Said it could cause a good time on Ottoman. This is coming our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. You must be that gal you scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Just some of that knowledge with me sometime. Let me elaborate a little. Those pro clan types have a lot of respect for people. They're the Lord of the Woods. So they are getting this control too! But it's for them to come right out and ask those of the gal theme of all people for And the truth is, we and the Dying Clan have a similar problem around here. Well, you know, us off in the mountains, flown in the same type of frenzy as we were. There's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still. But we're not sharing this That means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful problems. You're the best hope we got. The Fine Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That, that's at the very heart of the Harbor. Resort is a boy named Lee In. Lee In? Lee In is a brilliant chap, but also a bit, well, sometimes things can get blinding, you know? I'll tell you all about us politically for whether you listen to or not. I'm sure you're up to tail. So be counting on me. See you later. He certainly left well, quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really died at the time. Ottoman and I weren't wrong, though. If you're studying perhaps even politically, you, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp would be a handy place to send out for a arena. And you should stop by Pastor Steel and choose the best Pokemon I'll bring along. Got it. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials to come across, that's what always seems full of. If that sounds like you, if you want to let you hear a moment, hear what I have to say. <coughs> you can carry on even more than that tattoo you're going trick packing things in. It cost a hundred. This is where the, my recording failed. This is where the blackout happened. I had I lost, you know, the recording. This is where my blackout happened. So this is as far as I got, which is me going and paying more and more money to increase the satchel each and every time. Oh boy, it gets more and more expensive. Oh boy, and it gets more expensive. More expensive again. And it's more expensive again. Oh my god, just skip to a thousand instead of going to six hundred. Okay, I spam pay a little too fast. Whatever. Thousand five hundred. He's going it up a lot at this point. Jeez. Alright, later. I would like to not go broke at the beginning of the game. Thank you very much. Okay. Bam. You there, seem like someone enjoys a big crab. You think you help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you try to craft some of the best recipe I came up with. He's the recipe. Pokey, pokey sheet dolls. Three logs of wood. I 
forventede, at vi fik større, så vi kan blive helt fed. Så jeg tror, at vi kører på den sjov. Are you gonna have anyone? No. Okay. Now, didn't someone say they'd be waiting at their house for me to, um, their stuff? Same species really killed in different sizes. I know Professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time leaving this different type one blind up side by side. No, you are pleased with bigger than mine. I'll just eat them except the one I have for comparison's sake. And your next one is catching Pokemon, right? I bet you'll see where I'm going with this. If you have to be a little bigger than mine, let me have it. I'll make you wonder that. for a bigger one though. Okay. Got it, I had to check. I had to check. Oops, nope, that's not what I want to do. Is Star's big enough to pick up? And it seems to be an ideal way to. It's simply perfect. Thank you, young man. With this geo dude's help, I'll, make, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. <coughs> dude. Okay. Alright. Well, that's done. Alright. Moving on. Let's continue the story. Friend. Oh, Volo, that's why I got stopped. I certainly hope you put in that secret backstrike that you know, taught, I taught you to good use. Anyway, I have some super potions here just for you. Think nothing of it. Having certain cards out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Important you now is actually invest in my own fortunes. Thank you. 100 HP, jeez. I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Right, uh, The heights camp. As I said, that that would be closer. Hello. All right, let's go. Let's begin our trek and see what new Pokemon we can find. More stuff. Yeah, more Starly, that's wonderful. Alright. Okay. Number defeated, number you caught up, you can spot number different in front of him. Breathe a vault. Okay, I think 
crunch. Cheese. Hi. I can't fall from too high, right? So I gotta take the path over here.
Goodbye. Wow, that Pikachu was really annoying. Let's be completely honest here. Let's be very honest here. That Pikachu was really annoying. Wow. Okay, then. I can... Yikes. That could have gone better. That could have gone much better. Sorry. to my death. Quick attack, thank you for 
really kind of good for fucking me over there. Strange lightning in our ears, all by sin of divine power. Ever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too damn to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleaver. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passing. I'm afraid your passing is not the real issue here. I've been told no uncertainty by here that I am to let no one near Cleaver. I'll fight you off myself if you insist. So if I bow, withdraw. Now, well, you still can, or face the wrath of my Goomy. I don't think I have anything to deal with dragon types. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Just go, Goomy, and see if you can do some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. I have nothing to do with dragon types. Alright, Okay, that's paralyzed. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, that was easy. Maybe having an evolved Pokemon makes things a lot easier. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. Too dangerous to me clearer now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a fury of devastating blows. Not only I simply try make him make, making him an offering, nice uh, heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up by respect by Low Orton. That's me, of course, as you don't have to please him and suit the prickliest of moods. But you know, I, Cleaver's Low Warden, can't get close enough to give any offering. Yeah, not with the way Cleaver's are him taking him off. There's nothing on the outside like you can do. The ancestors of Cleavor were dear, and their co are drawn almighty souls power to protect Pokemon and keep it alive. So it's said, it's by the grace that our clan that any of us still lives in vast city today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleavor's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strict pose is a problem for us. If he indeed was struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false sinner that Diamond Clan bows to? Cleavor means so much to our clan. I hope we can bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw up our hands and ask all for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment we continue the danger grows. The more people have been Pokemon attack, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. Yeah, you, straight in front of the Tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? 
Okay, now I actually find a way to claw a word's currency. I'll figure something out. Very well. We and we and uh, is a police people. I also we might be able to get closer to make a proper option. So you must find a way to close for frenzy, even if you must search every corner of Ash to do it. Your arc phone is beeping. See, this power now enables you to return to base camp in an instant. That's nice. Fast travel. Head to the base camp and report the per the Professor Lavender thing. Okay. Cool. Where am I? That's a new request out here. Good to see you. Now is your research into Cleaver going? Suddenly I expect. Is that so? That's quite the tidbit. Now serving out his favorite foods would normally make Cleaver quite agreeable, is that it? I need a mold of this over back laptop. You should come along too, dear boy. Thank you. Over this survey, yay. Give me my money. Uh, ooh, we actually completed the Starly thing, so I could do that side quest. Ah, so close to next round. So according to the information you're able to learn from Irda and Leanna the Pearl Plant, where this nor the normal cars are fenced that frankly they have become by a nice suit of its two favorite foods. I do wonder. How about the armors of some other demons who might combine a way that you can not only calm clear but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. He was a gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Give me a moment if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. <laughs> Did you find something? Anything? I see Oshawa back there in the tank. Eureka! We we'll simply have to throw the food. Quite the arm for throwing things, have you? Or babe, my fancy day cleaver's favorite food and throw them at the Pokemon? Elaborate, please. Stop coming back. We can use our skill in Pokemon crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved food into balls. Then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but on how far. Good idea, but you say to yourself. As for what to call these yelling for your girls, <coughs> how about tea time balls? What's one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you simply call them Laventon balls, Professor? <coughs> oh my, with that name, it sound like I'm the one being wrong, said our friend he's right. <laughs> In any case, we can rely on the program to gather necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should get back to the Grand Tree Arena with the program and our plan. I'll take a great thing to set out from the Hive Camp. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I will. After I do this. Uh, after I do the Starly side quest, because I have it here, I might as well do it. Here's the completed Starly Tax. Come on, male and female Starly have different appearances. Let me see. Mark think their foreheads are different sizes. Incredible, I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read the Pokedex entry. Now I know more about it, I imagine I might finally be myself to touch a Starly. If you can find it or catch a Starly and bring it to me. Will you show me a Starly? Um, which one would you like? I have so many. Smooth curl the feather on his head with loud, loudly eyes, whatever he fucking said, because I cannot read apparently. Lovely through and through, I tore it down the last feather. Hello there, Starly. Want to touch it? No! I think I'd that by just looking after it all. Besides that, it might let loose a move. Outside the survey corridor, security, survey corridor security guard, I had to do some fire as a pro to poke my little leg. I'll say, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people see Pokemon simply flee on sight, you know. That's being able to read all the these Pokemon book it might put them more at ease. Yay! And more Pokeballs. How many do I have? 29. Okay. Alright then, well it's time to go. Hello. Oh my. 
My, my, that galaxy hall is one fine building, even from the outside. Cassie team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what do you end up calling it, the Heights Camp? Word here. Hello. I found the word here about what's going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the pro clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift in this world. And that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. I just found you worthy, you see, which means you need a flute like we have. <coughs> Mind demonstrating for a mind? This is very important to listen. Interesting noise. That's a Celestica flute that mine just played. If the press is to look at the you call upon worders so you can ride upon it. It is said that Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. It's not that grand of a guess, Chester, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. What a weird sound. Put your open its heart and learn to dwell the sound of your playing. What is this? See the mind played from where they're- Oh, cool! That increases psychic moves. Stone tab and beauty, add into psychic energy. Use on certain Pokemon, I was Pokemon getting power of the psychic type. Yep. And also for Arceus. Arceus. Whatever. Use that Celestica Flute Blights and Gallop across the land of the You got a friendly Pokemon to follow the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? We well, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places while you're riding about. I still have to avoid falls from high places. <laughs> Your young survey cords are created. Here are the rare gas over hill and valley on the back of Pokemon, yes? Why not try hand at balloon race? The game I invented myself. If you burst many of one of my door balloons while riding on a Pokemon. And the birthday, 17 balloons at a price of first start. Okay. Balloon race. Total of 30 balloons. Let's see if we can get in 45 seconds. Okay. One. Go. Bursting 17 balloons. Rare candy and a feather ball. You take part in balloon race in another place as well. The race is the easiest of lot. So you have to take channels of all races because of the next level. Right. I can do that in another Drift balloon. Oh, shit. oh god. Whoa, that's a parasect down there. Probably an alpha one because oh my god, that's cute. That is absolutely huge. The word! I hate to do that. Oh, shit. Um. 
Get the ball, super hack! Get the ball, super hack! Shaking the swings picks a Pokemon up in the tree, feeds it can all its berries. Okay. Bit of a warning there. Got it. Tide water dam. Okay. That's the best place to spell. No, bye! Focus on the story right now. So you say that Galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy. You mass up Cleaver's favorite route through the balls you can throw off or him? Quite an unorthodox approach. You Galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, how can you make offerings to Lord Cleaver from the same thing? Now you can. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide clear as on. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon, don't get out of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you need Cleaver's favorite pump beans. I brought them as promised. Ah, that's right, my apologies, dude. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, you seem to have a little choice to turn the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. Galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worried to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may bow by ordering about the Pokemon you call on your little Pokeballs. On my side, I have a Pokemon close to me, a sister is one of my blood. If you can feed Glaceon in me, I don't trust you, Cleaver's fate. Will you bow us? Yes? Glaceon's too starting to chill you to your depths. Man, already buddy going to. That's, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's Seventeen! Oh, boy! Get a cork in the first. Miss. We're in trouble because that miss. Bang on break. Oh wow. Okay. Get a burn. Thank you. That does less now attack you more than the black. Level 17. Also move master. Pokemon are simply tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You don't understand the Pokemon that you caught and treat them as partners. I feel like I put my trust in you now, I think. Let me see your Pokemon to lose. Thank you. Kind of kicked my Luxio's ass. I need to get a feeding plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mask cleaver, say your food together, ball them up, and try to call his frenzy by throwing them at him. Thanks, you develop some soothing bombs of sort to call my lord. There, I'll help soothe Cleaver's friends and make these bombs with a very hard controls. A veritable amount of bombs. This is your peace, Cleaver, if anything can. Ready yourself, and I'll summon my Cleaver load the words. I'm ready, I think. Probably not. Let's see. As am I. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't the time, yet the time of ceremony, you prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heaven and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you. Reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Horophae. Keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid moves as you're throwing the bombs.
Play Victor against no problem. Oh, it's crazy. You have to throw bombs at it until it's time to get it to zero. If you manage to create an opening at Noble's defenses, you will be able to send out your Pokemon to battle offenses. Win the Pokemon battle and Noble's guard will stay down for some time. Doing that with no bombs will be more effective than you can. Throw it than you can.
not be able to kill no matter what. So let's just fuck it up. Yeah. Yay, thank you. Oh, lady. 14 more to go because there's 16. No, there's 18 types actually. Right. Right? How many types are there again? Oh. What happened? Some kind of light erupted for Cleaver's body. Has Lark Cleaver's frenzy and mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's and natural power? Maybe. That's what I think after all we've seen. We know, we know Strange Lightning came from out of space time rift the other night. But both must have struck Cleaver and turned him into a frenzy after all. Lightning came from the space time rift? Somebody like Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space time rift and Strange Lightning. And he was almighty Sinnoh's power? Then were we even right to try to interfere? I uh, happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, lead in. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Protheon safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. When power sent by true almighty Snow Dream Cleaver to hunt us and attack, killed Pokemon and really I doubt it. What horror fate accomplishes now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we can sell this without further strife for the Diamond Claimer and Galaxy Team. Come across an our Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Fine, I suppose I must concur. How that's for coming briefly and composed. I'm grateful you've done it for my lord. Please take this on behalf of the program. Dear my apology for having spoken early to her and token of my thanks. Three citrus berries. Let me care for your Pokemon as well and appreciate you for fighting on our behalf. I think I finally did come to believe you truly did fall the sky. I still cannot imagine the reason to play. And seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Link give more inside a friend you can. He was fearfully strong after all. Okay, well, uh, what was I doing? I was going to, yes, to Rowlet, because Rowlet can evolve. Such a, such a weird evolution to come to me. Cool. Got a dark tracks. Okay, um. Hmm. I really want to keep exploring. I think we'll go back. Can I go to the damn camp? Thank you.
Ta-da! Ta-da! Yay, I did good! No! Update our Pokedex with new data. Yay, that's complete! Yay, I can rank up! You've earned your problem, but the next rank? Best report, okay, I'm styling then. Get right on the view. Tell Lord Cleaver, you say, well done and brawl, my boy. Back to the village report to Commander Kamado. Ah! You! Already! Jeez, you're in my face again! God, I saw a light fading in the sky. You must have called the Lord Pokemon. What do you have there? Could it be? Ah, there are two of the fabled plates of old. Please let me have a look. You show up everywhere. See if there are some letters carved in them. Let's see, this one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. Seems to be a phrase from very old myth. How did you come across these? I see, so you were given the plates when you impressed Wordier and Cleavor. It's quite something to me. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It's my guess that you'll find more plates like these scattered across the city. We had to gather up all and cyber scripts on them, and they covered something absolutely amazing. Mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickled my curiosity. What a joy to be alive with the times. Must be on my way. Until next time. Okay. Bye. For you. Here we go. Captain, I ranked up. You've made progress. Seem to earn yourself a star. Second star. But this you eventually earn the rank of second star and without the expedition team. You now use feather balls. Pokemon are at level 30 will also be your rewards alive in battle. Rewards for your entrance survey reports will be more generous now too. If you prefer rescues and even wrap them. One apricorn, one spectrum. Potion, one potion of metal plant. Please back in yourself to complete the motion hope you rise higher in the ranks. Okay. Place the front stage out to the quest for us. Some do do that. Take, talk to a good lady in this game now, city. Please. A fell for the build of the inside of the Let's investigate the matter for the good of science. Cool. No other quest. Fine by me. Upstairs we go. Well done! I've already received the report of your exploits. Firstly, call Cleavor's frenzy. Restore the peace of mind in your city's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have said the galaxy team may have it. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not so here. It seems to work that there are other Pokemon nobles falling, other Pokemon nobles falling prey such frenzy tells for your city. Found your research and survey data to prove they are truly an asset to us. That is all, you're dismissed. Health survey corps members are likely at the wall thought. Go and join them. Da -da -da. Any old chum, usual order, three thirds of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if any, if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Oh, Phil, does Goss pick up a storm about our young friend here now? Got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against it. I wouldn't say unharmed. I dare say Orphan was well prepared. I mean, he was a quick study if I could play for a minute to bat with what I heard. Yes, exactly. I totally didn't get hit by his attacks a lot at all. Oh no, it was a very good show. Victory Arm. I can feel safer going about our survey court duties now, thanks to your efforts. By the way, when I try grabbing some of these, I made a recipe in some direction of bedding them. Smoke bombs. Now that we need not, need not worry about being mauled by Cleavor either, let's take a chance to study all the Pokemon that call the obsidian field lands at home. <sighs> horrified. Uh, hello. Waiting for you, horrified. My name's Vessa. Something very important to tell you. Will you come with me?
Okay, I'm following child. <laughs> this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Today's in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity has been killed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. Now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. Hey, the thing my wife happened to so please, horse, hey, hear me out. I need you to restore a broken seal. Thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. Odd keystone. Wow, great spear too. And I see it's broken a whole bunch of wisp out across the suey. 107 of them in total. Get all 107, I'll be able to get spear too. I get it. Okay. The wisp are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I don't do you test, please. This head all whips for me. One real close to where we are now. I start with that one. Flame up hovering over there. Try touching it. Yeah, I know. How? Oh, oh, there's a bridge over here. Ugh. Oh, good. Spirit tomb. Mm. Has been absorbed to the Yaki system just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining goods. And one last, if you have more and more whistle, I'll give some more words of thanks. I went here while I carry out your search. Good luck. Request 22. Oh, boy. That's going to be a thing. Oh, boy. I assume completing all of them will get me spirit tomb. <laughs> The galaxy team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Who are you? You're Horfei, the boy who called Cleaver, aren't you? That's me. This keeps going. I want to end this part, but God, they keep like, just not getting me a chance. Quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you called one of all my Sinos chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing some bull bull. I'm Arizu, by the way. A warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is getting haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh snap, but I came here to talk to your Mr. Kamado. See you around. Bye. Alright. Get her the wisp. Uh, no. Oh. God. Alright. Anyways, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Where we'll. Uh, those, those wisps are gonna be wild. We'll see what uh, the Zardu one. That was her name, right? God, I'm already forgot. Yeah, Arazu. That's who it is. See you guys then.